Hey guys, Bear here from TGS with another GTA 5 apartment walkthrough video. We're going to be checking out Tinsel Tower Apartment 42, worth $492,000, 10 car garage. Located in Rockford Hills in North Los Santos, this high end apartment is available through Dynasty 8 Real Estate. Decided to start over here, right down the street, because it's a great location to see you right where you're at. Right in the background on the left is Eclipse Towers, where you have the most expensive apartment in the game at a million dollars. I'll be showing that in a separate video. But for this remastered video, since we have uh, old school video, no commentary, we're going to go ahead and do a full walkthrough of Tinsel Tower, which is right behind me, apartment 42. I'm going to go ahead and switch to first person, and this way we can kind of pan around the area. I'm going to showcase where we're at. So, we're right here off the main street, main boulevard. And uh, it's a pretty nice area. You're real close to downtown Los Santos. You can see the skyline kind of in the background right there by the moon. You're right at the high-end shopping district, right basically next to Vinewood Hills. You're in Rockford Hills, but Vinewood Hills is right next door. So you don't have to walk very far to get there, or drive very far. So taking a look around, I believe the street right there is where you can find the clothing store, so... Easy shopping. You also have the country club right here in the background. You have a Rockford Hills sign right there, but right over there is the country club. And uh, if you keep heading out that way, you'll end up at the beach going west. Honestly, it's probably one of my favorite apartments due to its location and the view you'll see from the inside. So I figured we'd go ahead and remaster it and showcase this a lot better off than I previously did. We're going to go ahead and drive my car up front. And we're going to walk in the front door. It may say entrance only, but we're going to violate that. So over here on the left is our building. We're going to make a U-turn. I figured I was pulling to the pathway. It's Los Santos. You won't get arrested for it. Don't try this at home. So we're going to cool up here, right here, up front. And go inside for a full walkthrough. The view of the building from here is pretty good. Uh, let's just turn around real quick. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the view of Los Santos, guys. It's absolutely awesome. Just wait until you're up looking out the windows from your uh, glass floor-to-ceiling apartment. Has a really nice lobby as well. Creepy Uncle Lester is giving me a ring. We'll have to call him back later. Might be about that fleeky job or something. Let's go ahead and go in. So as mentioned, this is one of my favorite apartments. You'll notice in a lot of my videos, if I show multiple apartments, we might see the same interior more than once. That's because GTA has some generic interiors, I think two or three, that they showcase in the uh, downtown condos and apartments. So, that is what's up with that. We're going to kind of look around all of the rooms and take our time. We have some paintings, a little you know, desk area over here. Not even sure what's on there, our phone, I guess. Old school. I don't think we need cell phones anymore, but uh, let's go ahead and get a look over here. As you guys can see over here, we have the pan uh, plant display on the right. Some uh, paintings. And it says stairs. We're going to work our way down... Towards the living room, but we're going to break towards the heist room in just a moment. we got to save that view for later on, because you guys can see in the background, it's absolutely amazing. This is the view of your living room. It's pretty fancy, pretty high-end. I would love to live in this place, to be honest. Uh, you know, this We could probably do without the stairs, considering it's a condo, but it does add a nice vibe to the building. It makes it feel less flat, in a sense. So, we'll get through this room in just a moment, but right now we're going to go ahead and do a quick turn to the right, violate our slow movement protocol, and uh, go into here. So this is the heist room. We're going to go ahead and look at all sides. Pretty much available in all houses. Over here, got the gaming setup, which was my real gaming setup. Looks pretty sweet. Got the speakers, two, uh, two screens. Probably playing some good games back in this room. Whenever I'm not busy doing heists, play some awesome games. We're going to slowly pan right and kind of just showcase... This room, right there is a map of Los Santos, if you want to take a look without clicking the start button. Can't really show you where we're at on that map very easily, but I can pull open the main map. I'm sure you guys. Available heist, I'm going to be uh, remastering the heist videos or doing them from scratch, depending if we ever made them before on the channel. So that's something to look forward to as well. I'm going to do them all in order, including uh, Doomsday and the casino heist. 
plenty of ammo in here. You know, I wish you could actually come in here and pick it up whenever you're not doing a heist and, you know, when you're running low, but at least it's cool for looks. Football, basketball, you never know when we're going to have to uh, play a game of ball just to uh, pull off a heist. So that is this room. We're going to move out to what matters, which is the room out here. This is probably the nicest room in the entire house. So we're going to go ahead and uh, showcase everything, the kitchen, the living room. So right here is the dining area. In the background, that's not actual, you know, downtown Los Santos, but you have a pretty, you know, expansive view looking south from uh, east to west. So you'll see in a moment when I get to the windows what I'm talking about. It's gl I'm glad we picked nighttime because you're really going to get to see when this uh, apartment shines with the skyline in the background. So we have, you know, Schmidt and Pris ovens over here. And what seems like an espresso machine. Comes with a mixing bowl, dishes, the whole nine yards, a cutting board. Can't go wrong. I'm going to go ahead and start moving a little bit more. You have a stove, four burners, uh, some kind of mixing bowl with a phone in it. Interesting. Let's pan over here real quick. This is what this looks like up close. It's pretty good looking, honestly. It's real nice in this place. I mean, the trash can's kind of out of place a little bit, but that's okay. So if we look out the window, we're going to pan right to left because we're going to show the you know the most beautiful part of this pan as we go. Sorry about any reflection. I don't think I can turn off the lights. Without paying, you know, just have to stop paying the bills. Come on, Tony Stark. I'm busy right now. So if we pan right to left, you guys can see slowly move towards downtown. If this banner would go away, you get a much better view. So we'll wait for it to go away before I stop looking. But this is what I'm talking about. Look how close you are to downtown. You can see the Rockford uh, Plaza right in the background where the other clothing store is. You basically follow this road straight. You'll get to a uh, you know a dead end where you got to go right, and you're in downtown Los Santos. It is that easy. So uh, I highly recommend this apartment unless you want to live in downtown. Downtown has some nice places, but in my view, Eclipse Tower, Tinsel Tower, where to be? They're in uh, kind of the fancier part of town, slightly out of downtown, but close enough that you can enjoy the view of the skyline. It is totally worth living here. There are some greater, cheaper options. But you won't get the great views. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pan back around on the interior. As you guys can see, pretty nice living room. We're going to start working our way over here. Pottery and books on display on the shelves. You know, if you're trying to read Millennium or... Uh, See, what are some other names? I am philosophy, you know. You're in the right place. So panning to the right. You have everything you need in this, you know, a radio, a bong, some whiskey. Set up for your uh, weekend streams, I guess. Good to go. Got a nice sound system. All that good stuff. We're actually going to take a quick stroll over here. Because I want to look out this window and see if we can give you guys a any different of a perspective. It's not, it should be drastically better, but uh, you're slightly closer to downtown, by theory. Maybe 15, 20 feet, but this is the view you get. Uh, obviously, during the day, you don't have as much reflection blocking your view. So, uh, you know, it definitely looks pretty good. Since this is online, I don't think I can fast forward the clock. I am running a private session, but Something we'll have to figure out. So after a night of streaming, you're like, oh, I'm tired, so you're going to work your way around here. And you're going to head down this path. Walk nice and slow like you're playing Numa Breath of Life and uh, get up in this room. So here is the master bedroom. 
it is a pretty nice place. Modern bed, mat, yeah, modern uh, nightstands. The one thing that disappoints me in these is there's no TV. I have a TV in my room and I don't use it that often. By the time I usually get to bed, it's time to just sleep, not you know hang out in bed and watch TV. But really, uh, I like the I don't know. I just like the vibe of TVs more than a painting in that spot. It's more fitting in my view. But I'm also from the technological age, more so than the artistic age, which makes no sense. But you get the idea. <laughs> In here, painting works great. You don't need a TV in here, that's for sure. I have everything I need. If I'm trying to wear a dress or some uh, high heel boots, I'm set. You know, you never know what heist you, you know what you're gonna need to dress as, or cross dress as. Got a nice red dress. Use that to emphasize my back. Uh, yeah, definitely makes me look good. I look good in red, man. So we're gonna go ahead and. <laughs> Go ahead and go in the bathroom. I really like the shower design. I've never personally in real life seen a floor design like that made out of wood. My concern would be splinters, but as long as it's, you know, glazed properly, waterproofed properly, it shouldn't be an issue. So this would be a pretty awesome shower to have. Top of that, you have... A giant tub. Doesn't seem to have jacuzzi holes. Just noticing that now. A little bit stained. Sorry about that. But after spending some time with the unicorn, you know. Parties happen up in here. Just gotta ring their phone line and over they come. Here's our sink. For two in case you have a guest. Now, after the unicorn, I leave uh, some perfume here just in case they stank. But other than that, <laughs> this is this. We're going to go ahead and head to the garage. i to throw some jokes in here and there. Uh, try and make it a little bit more fun than just a walkthrough. But what's most important is seeing the rest of this place, which is a 10-car garage. So the one vehicle's outside, so you'll notice an open spot. I also might have accidentally... Well, actually, I haven't called Morris Mutual yet to see if they have my car, but I might have accidentally lost one of my other cars uh, by leaving it at the pound. So I'm kind of concerned about that. It was, uh, pretty sure, like the Koenigsegg-based one. So I haven't seen it in a while. Maybe we'll call Morris Mutual while we're in the garage real quick to see what they have to say. But the car I drove out front should be right here in front of us on the left. And this is your 10-car garage. It's pretty much like all the rest of the 10-car garages in downtown Los Santos. They don't really vary much other than the actual vehicles inside. This is my motorcycle and sports car garage. Uh, I do have, you know, vehicles like motorcycles and sports cars in other garages where they're kind of more mixed up, but uh, when I initially started sorting my cars, I stored a bunch of them here, and I just, uh, I wish you could send them between houses and just, you know, they have like a screen where you can organize your cars. That'd be a lot easier than having to drive them back and forth and move them around, as that can be a hassle. Back here we have uh, a workshop room, door opens up, pull your car back in, work on it, pretty good deal. And you also have everything you need over here, tools, supplies. Overall that's pretty much all there is to this uh, building. Again I highly recommend it, it's one of my favorites hands down. I really like the million dollar one, so don't get me wrong, but at the same time this has one of the best views. The million dollar one. If you're looking for a view that isn't downtown, that's more relaxing, that one has a great view, for sure. I'm going to give Moore's Mutual a ring and just pass them. Let's, uh, let's confirm what happened, so you guys can know the story of my Koenigs here. Morse Mutual, we're oh here God. to help. So Cognacity Cabrillo is in there. I don't know if I saw Tinsel there, I just accepted the first one. Hello, this is Morse Mutual Insurance. Yep. So you guys can see Entity XF and the Enduro. Okay. Oh, there it is. So that's what we were missing. Apparently I'm missing more stuff though uh, too, so we gotta see what else is going on. I mean they'll elongate the video too much, but 
So the show you guys what else I had. MMI, we expect the unexpected. I'll do my best. Wish they would let you claim all vehicles at once. Just like claim all. No matter what garage it's in, just give us a claim all price for everything. Because I mean, we're obviously calling you about our vehicles. Morse Mutual, how can I be of service? My armored Cognoscenti was blown up I as think well. we Jeez. can do that. I had a lot of cars in Morse Mutual. Thankfully, they didn't vanish by getting pound, you know, impounded. I've had that happen a long time ago once on a really nice car. It really sucked. So long story short, don't leave them in the pound. Either way, that's our walkthrough video. We'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe.